Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 8th grade concept of volume. Specifically, we can find the volume of a cylinder and we will do it in 5 minutes or less. So if we're trying to find the volume of this 3-dimensional shape, it has a pretty deceiving formula. Volume equals base times height. Seems, oh, that's simple. We only have to multiply two things. This is also the same formula that we would use for volume of a, of a prism, of a rectangular prism specifically. That's what we would most likely use. But any type of prism would work. It's going to be base times height. But here's the problem. Let's take a look at our cylinder. Let's put some units here, right? So we've got 30 centimeters for the height. And let's say we've got a diameter here. Oh, and let's call that 9 centimeters. All right, so that's typically what they would give you. The height is easy, right? It's just going to be that 30 centimeters. So we're simply looking for the base times 30. The base is where it gets tricky. We're looking for the area of this base right here. And this base happens to be a circle. So we need to kind of break this down. So this base equals, remember the area of a circle is pi r squared. So we know that our pi is going to be 3.14, but they don't even give us the radius. They give us the diameter. All right, so now we need to know that uh, the radius equals our diameter cut in half. All right, so that's going to be 9 halves or 4.5. All right, so now that we've done that little bit of work, we're ready to do a whole lot of multiplication because we got to first find the base and then multiply that base by 30. So the base is going to be pi r squared. And so we know that our pi is going to be, we're going to use 3.14, even though that's just an approximation. We're going to take our 4.5 and we're going to square it. We're going to multiply it by itself. So let's, let's get started with that. 4.5 times 4.5. And this is where, if you have a calculator, you can make it your life a lot easier. So that's 20, that's 22. And that is 20, 16, that's 18. All right, so we've got 20.25. That is simply the radius squared. Now we need to take our 20.25. We need to multiply it by what we're using as the approximation of pi, 3.14. It's going to get us close enough. So that's 20. That's 8. That's 10. That's 1, and that's 8. All right. Next row is easy. I love multiplying by 1s because it's just going to be 20, 25. Then we've got the next row after that, and let's multiply by 3. So we've got 15, that's 7, that's 0, and that's 6. All right, so we've got 5, 8, 15, 3, Wow. The numbers are running into each other. We've got one, two, three, four digits behind the decimal. Let's put four digits behind the decimal. We're close. All we found is the base. So the area of the base, 63.585. I'm going to go ahead and drop that zero. Centimeters squared. In order to find the volume, we need to multiply this base times that height of 30. All right, so let's multiply by 30. We've just got a whole bunch of zeros, so we don't really need those. I'm just going to start on that second row with that 3. So that's 15. That is going to be 24, 25. 15, 17. 9, that's 10. I've got 18, 19. So we've got this right here. We can actually just take it right there. 19.07550, one, two, three digits behind the decimal. After all that work, we now have 1,907 and 550 thousandths, or we can probably just drop that. 0, 1907.55. Remember, this is volume, so we're going to cube it centimeters cubed. So it starts with a very simple equation. The height is always easy. The trick is finding the base. Once you multiply that, you are good to go.